The Chicago suburbs real estate market is extremely hot right now and many families and individuals are making a move here, whether it be from the city of Chicago or from out of state. The majority of my clients these past few months have faced some pretty competitive multiple offer situations. And in today's video, I wanna share some of those suburbs that they placed offers in and what makes these suburbs so desirable to buy homes at. My name is Brian Blankenship, a Chicagoland realtor helping people just like you relocate to in and around the Chicagoland area. And I wanna be your real estate agent when the time comes, call me, text me, shoot me an email. All my information is down below in the description. But let's go over these four different suburbs I want to bring up and kind of touch base on where my clients are looking for homes and facing these massive multiple offer situations. And let's just dive right into it. First on the list is actually St. Charles, Illinois. And when I bring up these other three suburbs, this one on the list is actually the farthest west from the city of Chicago. You're about 46 miles west of the city, aka about an hour to an hour and a half depending on traffic truthfully there's really no easy way to get down there you pretty much go st charles and just head all the way east to the city of Chicago. One thing about the St. Charles area compared to all these other suburbs I'm gonna talk about is that I feel like a lot of families and individuals are making a move here because you can get more house for the amount of dollar that you spend here. As I'm making this video right now, the average sales price for a home in St. Charles, Illinois for a single family home is around $575,000. Obviously, you could find more homes that are on the more affordable end as well as the much more pricier end as well. But truthfully, what a $575,000 home is gaining you here is probably a four bed two and a half bath home with a basement you know about a quarter of an acre two car garage and 2200 to about 2500 above living square feet i would say this is one of the big things that makes st charles homes and real estate market extremely hot is because of the affordability when you compare it to the other suburbs i'm going to be talking about this video as well as when you head more east and St. Charles, if you want a downtown area to live in, St. Charles is actually one of the more affordable downtown areas to live and buy a house in. And when it comes to downtown St. Charles, it's actually pretty incredible. When it comes to downtown St. Charles as well, you have downtown Geneva with easy access. So you get to enjoy the best of both worlds. Some of my favorite restaurants to eat there are the Graceful Ordinary, Gia Mia, Alley 64, and many, many more. I feel like the calls I get from you guys that are looking to make a move to St. Charles is typically, you know, you guys that that really don't have the city of Chicago in your radar to get there all the time. And like I said, it's extremely hot here when you come a lot more west because you're getting a lot more bang for your buck when it comes to home. Next on this list is Naperville, Illinois. And I talk about this suburb all the time on this channel. Niche.com just actually ranked it the number one city in America for 2024 to raise a family as well as the best public schools. And honestly, it's no surprise why Naperville is so sought after as well as the real estate market is extremely hot over here. You are about 30 miles west of the city of Chicago. So this makes it a great location if you're looking to still commute to the city of Chicago. And besides great public schools over here in Naperville that draws a lot of people here, it's the downtown area, the community, and a lot more other things as well. The Naperville public schools here are the districts, are District 203 as well as District 204. And primarily a lot of the calls I get from families and individuals is that they're looking for schools and they already have like the elementary, the middle school, and the high school that they want picked out and it makes the job and your search that much more efficient and you know a lot of people actually focus on looking for the schools and that's what makes it extremely extremely hot i can give you guys a story that i've had some clients that relocated here from wisconsin and they were looking for district 204 specifically two middle schools they were looking for scullin as well as crone middle school and they both bud into Nequa valley high school and we we're pretty much just looking for homes in there and they ended up buying a beautiful home right around eight hundred twenty five thousand dollars it was great a ton of space in law unit and everything along that nature if you want to learn more about the downtown area because i don't want to just make this like a naperville living video because i have a lot of those on this channel as well and if you want to see more of those there should be a whole playlist in the description as well as i covered basically just downtown naperville as a whole live and in person so you should definitely watch that video as well but like i said no secret at all that makes naperville such a hot market where everyone wants to 
buy a house in. You know, they have great public schools, you know, a great place to raise a family and just everything else that niche.com ranks it that I also drop a link to that down below. Also, if you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button and leave a like on this video because it tells the YouTube I'm doing a good job at making this video kind of thing. And I really appreciate your guys' support in watching this video. And you know, if you have any questions right now, drop them down in the comments below while you're still continuing to watch this video. Number three on the list is Elmhurst, Illinois. And it's actually one of my favorite Western suburbs. I want to say it's probably top three. And in the top three, it's actually not Naperville, Illinois. And let me know what you guys think are my top three suburbs in all the Western suburbs. I'd love to know in the comments below. This summer right here is actually the closest to the city of Chicago. You're about 18 miles west of the city. And if there's no traffic or anything, you could probably get to the city through a drive in about 25 to 30 minutes, honestly. Maybe even much faster depending on which section of Elmhurst that you live in, but it's pretty convenient. And it's one of those towns and suburbs here that draws a ton of people and makes it such a hot real estate market because it's the farthest, well, it's the closest east is how I'm trying to say it. Western suburb closest to the city of Chicago. So it gives you easy access if you really don't want to give up that, you know, city living and everything like that, but you want the tranquility of the Chicago suburbs. When it comes to downtown, Elmhurst, some of my favorite places to eat are 151 Kitchen, Modern Plate, Potsy de Pizza, and there's many others like Hamburger Helper and just a lot of nostalgic Elmhurst spots. It's great if you haven't been here and you're relocating from the city of Chicago, you should definitely come out here on a weekend to just check out what downtown Elmhurst is all about. And an experience I had about three years ago when I was hosting an open house in South Elmhurst, right around the million dollar price point, is that we had a ton of families come through that open house and asking where people People were coming from and relocating to, I would say the majority of people were actually looking to make a move from the city of Chicago and to the Elmhurst area. And a big, those reasons, like I touched base on, is that people still want that close proximity to the city of Chicago. And when I get calls from you guys and Elmhurst is on your list, 90% of the time, it's a lot of families and individuals like looking to make a move from the city of Chicago because they still have to go to work in the city. This gives them close proximity. And with families and individuals relocating out of state to the Elmhurst area, Area. You know, I get a lot of people looking here because of the same reason with the proximity to the city. And, you know, that just makes this market so hot, truthfully, because you get easy access if you want to enjoy all the sports, the food scenes, and just everything else that the city of Chicago has to offer you. Truly, I do love the Alpers location, and it's crazy how everyone wants to buy a house over here. The last suburb on this list I want to cover is actually Wheaton, Illinois, and it actually has gotten brought up a ton on this channel whenever you guys reach out and call me. It's about 30 miles west of the city of Chicago and typically when I have families and individuals reach out and talk about Naperville, Whedon usually comes up as well. And it's been such a hot, crazy real estate market here. There was a ranch house on Parkside in Whedon that I wrote an offer on for a few weeks ago and it was listed right around $389,000. But that got about four or 33 offers on that property and it was pretty crazy to say the least. Some reasons that make Whedon so great is actually the downtown area. Some of my favorite places to eat in downtown Whedon are Burger Social, you have Altiro and you have Proof Number 5 as well as Ditka's. And the best thing right now is I'm making this video actually is that they actually opened up the tents on Hale Street, which is basically the main road where all the restaurants are in downtown Whedon. And they just put tents there. Everyone brings tables out and it's a great community environment kind of thing with everyone eating outside, especially on the weekends and when the weather is looking great here in the Chicago suburbs. The two public schools here in Whedon, Illinois are Whedon Wernville South as well as Whedon North, depending on where you live in Whedon and it's pretty much divided by whether you're south of Roosevelt Road or north of Roosevelt Road. I currently live in South Whedon and I love it. I have easy access to everything, which makes it so great. I get asked a ton also about just, you know, general subdivisions and neighborhoods and, and kind of the Chicago suburbs. And when it comes to Whedon, Whedon actually boasts a lot of those subdivisions as well as neighborhoods. When you look at South Whedon, you have neighborhoods like Arrowhead, Farnham, the Nada West, Stonehenge, Briarcliff, and a lot more, which makes it great because I get a lot of calls and it's easy for me to kind of, you know, recommend neighborhoods that, you know, if you like this neighborhood, you're probably going to like this neighborhood because it has the same price point, feeds in the same schools. And, you know, at the end of the day, a lot of times when they do their drives and everything and look around the area when it comes to relocating here to the Chicago suburbs, where it be from the city of Chicago or from out of state, and they're doing their driving tour. One thing a lot of families and individuals typically say to me about Whedon specifically is the location, the proximity to all the other suburbs, and as well as Donata, which is kind of the main hub of where all the shops is so you have all your amenities here in Whedon from you know your grocery stores like Whole Foods and Jewel Osco you have shopping like a TJ Maxx Sierra as well as a Nordstrom Rack that is opening up and just a lot of great
great places to eat as well. So Wien's super high on the list. Like I said, that listing and that house, that ranch house on Parkside and Wien gave 33 offers, kind of tells you the story, how it is and why everyone's making a move here to Wien, Illinois. And just how crazy that real estate market portion here is in Wien as well. So here are some of the hot Chicago suburbs that people are buying homes in. Are you guys surprised on the list? Are you guys thinking about making a move to any of these specific suburbs? What suburbs do you guys want me to cover going forward? And I just kind of want to hear your guys' thoughts on these specific suburbs, especially if you have been researching the Chicago suburbs. You know, love to hear your questions, love to answer them in the comments. And like I said, if you had any thoughts about making a move here, whether it be next week or next year, I'd love to be your real estate agent when the time comes. Call me, text me, shoot me an email. All my information is down below in the description. Watch one of these videos up here and I will see you guys on the next video.